I call the honourable member for Ryan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline the importance of fixing the budget and what will living within our means mean for my constituents in Ryan? Call the honourable the Treasurer. Well, uh, I thank the honourable member for Ryan for a question. And I also welcome the interest in the Labor Party in paying back debt, because now they've got a newfound interest in repaying debt, something they never had. But all of a sudden, we discover today that they're really concerned about people paying back their debts. The only problem is that the Australian Labor Party has made the debt worse for everyone. For everyone. In just six years, they wreaked havoc on the Australian economy that left us with a debt growing to $667 billion. That's 25000 I know, come on. I know it's hard to believe. I know that's a big number for you guys over there. There's a lot of zeros, a lot of zeros. But let's narrow it down to what it means for every single Australian. $25,000 of debt for every man, woman and child in Australia in 10 years, whether they went to university or not. Whether they went to university or not. So people who are the poorest of the poor in the nation have the same debt liability under Labor as the wealthiest person. And why? Because that's Labor's approach to debt. They pick and choose the moments they want to talk about it. Now, the great challenge is that without action in our budget, the interest on that debt would be $3 billion a month, $3 billion a month, and 70 per cent of that interest is paid to people overseas because we are borrowing money from people overseas. We have to pay interest back to those people, and 70 per cent of the interest bill is paid to people living overseas. Now, the Labor Party wants to make this issue worse. They don't want to improve the debt problem. They actually want to make it worse. And that's why they're opposing $40 billion of savings, including $5 billion of their own savings, which is quite remarkable. But what's more, it's even worse than that. As the Minister for Foreign Affairs pointed out, the member for Sydney wants to increase it by a further $16 billion. She wants to go back to the full foreign aid program that Labor had $16 billion extra in foreign aid with borrowed money. And of course, the Labor Party, they won't deny it. They won't deny it. Are you denying it? No, they're not denying it. You're committed to it. An extra $16 billion. And in fact, she put out a press release. The Treasurer resumed his seat. The, uh the honourable member for Sydney, um, on, on a point on, of order. Well, of course, no, on indulgence. On a point of order, there the, is no the indulgence. The question the time has asked me member will response. resume her seat. Yeah. Treasurer has the call. <coughs> Treasurer has the call. Sixteen billion dollars on top of forty billion dollars. The pain of labour just keeps going on and on and on, mm. and every Australian is going to have to pay back that debt. I call.